Hey guys, welcome. My name is Dana and this is the Pink Peony Oracle. Today I'm going to be doing a reading and a little bit of an astrology report for Capricorn. Um, this is going to be a basic overview of the astrology playing out generally for everyone and um, then a little bit about how it's going to be affecting you personally Capricorn and then I'm going to do a quick little oracle read at the end just to get a little bit more specific about what maybe whoever is watching this can expect. So let's get into it. Obviously I'm sure you know we have a massive lunar, um, a full lunar eclipse in Sagittarius and um, basically it's a portal period between now and the next solar eclipse happening on the 10th of June. So this in-between period is kind of like um, a time when the veil is a lot more thin and we have a lot more access to um, a great amount of wisdom that's like pouring down onto this earth right now. There's a lot of high frequencies pouring down um, and it's really activating a lot of things and a lot of people. It's it's quite a big transition period. It's where we can have like extreme leaps in consciousness at this time. Um, it's big culmination points. It's a big time for releasing being a full moon. Um, it's obviously a, and everything being amplified because it is a super moon. Um, it's a big time for releasing. So a lot of things are coming up to be released. It's an extremely karmic time. So a lot of people are ending a lot of cycles um, towards the next eclipse. A lot of people are going to be experiencing more of the new beginnings that are open and possible. So generally, generally, <laughs> um, there is what we can expect is um, a lot of intensity at this time but a lot of people are going to come into some big personal understandings within themselves a lot of truths are going to be coming up it's a big need for people to be very honest with themselves especially because we have a lot of other cosmic energies playing into this whole situation with um, Saturn that just went retrograde but I do think that is more of a positive aspect because it is sextiling um, the, the eclipse. So Saturn is actually helping us ground in a lot more of this energy. It's helping us be a lot more um, mature and responsible in our approaches to how things are going for us in our lives at this time. Um, it's, it's uh, what did I write here? Yeah, rewards that come if we're willing to take care and be disciplined um, and take responsibility, the, then it's almost like we'll have a greater sense of um, rewards that'll come about it. However, if you choose not to work with these energies in a more responsible, mature way, there is, um, it's more like, it's kind of like you're going to, you're going to end up reaping what you sow. So if you're reaping good things, if you're being mature and um, taking responsibility, viewing your own personal ethics and morals at this time, then you're more likely to come out of this greater and wiser. And this is where this wisdom is coming in for a lot of us. Um, obviously, Mercury is going retrograde. I'm sure everyone who's coming to this video knows what that means. Um, a lot of miscommunication, a lot of misunderstandings. So this is where um, it would be extremely mindful to be who to to take cognizance of who you're speaking to, what you're speaking about. Make sure Jupiter is aspecting in this, and um, you know there's a need for you guys to not or all of us to not exaggerate truths, um, blow anything up out of proportion. Um, but basically, a healthy sense of detachment is what I wrote down here, um, can can really help us with the lessons of this time, if we can step out of it and look at everything playing out from a higher perspective, um, a more responsible perspective, and not take things so personally, we're more likely 
to really grasp the wisdom that is available to us at this time. So there's a need. I mean, a lot of uncomfortable things will be coming up at this time. A lot of um, truths will be coming up at this time. So there's a, there's a need for us to be mindful about what is truthful, especially with Mercury being in retrograde. Um, a lot of untruths are also out there. So there's a big need for discernment. And basically Capricorn, I think all of these aspects playing out are going to hit you in more of a spiritual uh, sense in your more spiritual zone. So you might be finding um, your dreams, you might be getting a lot of messages in your dreams, um, there's going to be a lot of subconscious uh, things coming up at the moment for you to work with and play with. But um, there's a need also, so like you need to be willing to identify and recognize these spiritual experiences that are happening in your life because this is where you're going to be gaining a lot of your own personal wisdom and truth and understanding about who you really are. Um, and then, oh yes, yeah, so it can also, you might also find that um, there might be some confusing I wrote down confusing information within big institutions. So um, whatever institution that is for you, work, school, um, any bigger structured community, um, be mindful of what you're hearing. Um, just, just be aware of the energies playing out at this time, especially in those aspects of your life. And... Um, Oh, there was a need within these big institutions and within your own personal life. There's a need to almost rethink um, procedures and how you do things and how you're getting things done. But I do know that um, your instincts right now, Capricorn, especially are going to be the most important guiding force for you in your life at this time. You are going to gain a lot more if you just, I'm hearing, trust your gut. Okay. So that's very nice. It is hitting you in your spiritual zone. So you will be receiving a lot more of these etherical energies. Etherical? <laughs> okay. So Capricorn, I'm going to do a quick reading. We are going to find out what you can generally expect. The lessons of this karmic time. And then I'm just going to pull a little bit of guidance. Or some advice or whatever we can get from your guides. So I'm going to use, I've got all my decks in front of me. I don't know what I want to use. I think I want to use, I'm going to use the Moonology cards uh, to find out what we can be expecting, what energies are at play. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Um, you got the new moon eclipse. Expect powerful change. Um, what I'm actually noticing, there's definitely a lot of energy running through my body right now. I think this could be yours like um, it's it's there there are an extreme amount of um uh high frequency energies like raining on the like the earth at this time because we are i know we're moving through um the photonic light belt in the universe in the cosmos at this time and this hasn't happened in a very very long time that's why when you are if you are experiencing some some spiritual uh, like a lot of ascension symptom, symptoms, a lot of changes um, in your like energetic field. Um, I do think out of all the signs, you're going to be picking up on these a lot, but it is going to be something that that really helps you. So I'm noticing like in this card, all the um, these are more of your like higher chakra energies, and these are kind of the the lights and um, the the. I'm actually hearing like your vortexes that are being activated, that are getting um, restructured within you. <laughs> okay, so you can obviously expect a lot of change. Um, I do think there is, a, on the bottom of the deck, you have the Gibbous Moon. You're very, oh, okay, I picked up two cards. So <laughs> you're very close to achieving your goal. There's something about perspective. What is the perspective you have of the situation that you're in? And, oh, okay, you got the new moon in Aries. It's time to take action. So, you know, whatever it is you're working on at this time, 
there will be a need for you to move forward again trust your instincts trust your gut and then a need for some sort of like i'm hearing acceptance acceptance um almost like a surrendering energy surrender to what is happening around you this change this transformation that's going on um because it is gonna it is gonna result in like something good coming in for you um almost like your whatever your dream or your goal is at this time it's it's definitely coming in so that is something you can expect now let's find out more about the karmic lessons of this time i'm gonna use i'm gonna use my what is this this is the archangel power tarot so let's see the lessons of this time capricorn Okay, so there's a decision that needs to be made. Oh, and you got leap of faith. Okay, definitely at a, so, okay, so you got the decision, you got the decision and the leap of faith card. So, um, I think this is coming back to um, this acceptance, this acceptance of your circumstances that I was hearing earlier. Um, the, the lesson, I think, might be about how you perceive things going on in your life right now. Um, your perception, I mean, that is a big, big thing in this um, with all the cosmic, like, astrological things playing out right now. People are going to have massive, massive perspective, um, perception and like perspective shifts you know how how you how do you see the world um can you can you change your perspective on a situation and in, in order to see through illusions perhaps um ways that you may have like held yourself back um ways that you haven't um acted on things and made decisions in order to move you towards what it is that you really want um this perspective shift is I mean, this is one of those, this is, Zeus, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, he's just playing. Um, so, like I said, um, there's a need for you to almost, are you okay? <laughs> there's a need for you to check in with yourself, always be checking in with yourself, being completely honest, observing how you perceive situations or your current situation um how it is you're making decisions going forward what is it that's holding you back at this time these are all good questions to be asking yourself um what you definitely have a new start coming so this this um phase that we're in at the moment where we're moving from one um one cycle to another is definitely happening for you um this being a zero it's almost coming through as like a, a point of you can create anything that you need to create right now. However, there is some action and um, something, some sort of action needs to be taken in order to set yourself free from a, like a situation to make some sort of decision about where it is you're trying to move forward to. Um, the What choices you're making and how you're making these choices uh and i think the biggest the biggest lesson for you in this whole thing is going to be about your perspective and how you see yourself in situations how you make decisions um and what are you doing to move yourself forward into this next phase of your life so that i believe is some of the lessons you may be experiencing at this time now advice for you i'm gonna pull a spell casting okay there we go okay the spell casting oracle oh new beginnings okay you got the new beginnings card i don't think i've ever seen this card this is a new deck i haven't used it yet 
Okay, so there definitely is a stepping through, um, a stepping through into something new, a, a need to move through and shift through some sort of um, boundary, perhaps a boundary that you've set for yourself. What is on the bottom? Willpower. Okay, yes. So this is about you and how you plan on stepping into this new world, this new place, this new situation, however it's playing out within your life. Um, they, they, that's the willpower is that um, that acceptance, that needing to um, have this inner strength and confidence to almost pass through this threshold point. Um, like I said, have a perspective, like sit back and, and view things from a new angle. Um, understand this perception shift will almost be the I'm hearing catalyst towards this new thing that you're trying to start this new change this new start whatever it is for you um it will be if you can take the time to sit back and ask yourself these very relevant questions and how they how you may be stopping yourself from passing through into this new world into this new experience um, it will give you a greater sense of understanding like the strength that you have within you, the willpower that you have within you. Um, what am I seeing in here? And it looks like this, this new world looks extremely lush, like very lush, like a lot of growth, a lot of transformation can occur there. A lot more um, spiritual understandings with this moon there, a lot more intuitive messages, a lot more moving through your intuition um and will will almost like like i said in the beginning i feel like you need to trust your gut your gut is going to lead you in the right direction it's going to be the thing that like empowers you right now to take hold of this new world you're looking for yourself like you're you're looking to have for yourself or that is actually just available for you um so that is what I have for you. I do think I am hearing, oh, okay, happiness awaits. I split the deck. It's such a beautiful card. See so many colors. See all this energy. There's definitely something happening like in the, from the heart space up. Like there's new energies coming through you, coming through your body. Um, and they're obviously going to lead to much happier situations. I'm also hearing friends um, at this time may be very helpful and beneficial for you um, to gain perhaps this additional perspective um, even just help you have a sense of like joy and peace within your situation so Capricorn that is what I have for you I really hope this was helpful to you in some way um, thank you guys so much for being here and sharing this space with me other than that, guys, good luck for your karmic portal and the eclipses and really make the most of these energies because they can. I know a lot of people, even myself, like there are some heavier energies playing out, but there, there's so much more to gain from this time. So with that being said, goodbye, Capricorn. <laughs>